In an effort to help out this Lincoln Penny Hunt and Phil series, I made a trade with a subscriber for a few boxes from the Northeast. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. As many of you are aware, I'm trying to complete a Dansko Lincoln Penny album from 1909 to 1999 from just Quenrow Hunting Boxes. We kicked off this series with some boxes from the Northeast and did well. Lately, I've been struggling on finding wheat scents in my area, and one of my subscribers reached out to me for a trade and said, Rob, I've got some Pennsylvania boxes if you'd like them. Now, I love myself some Northeast boxes because I get to scope a lot more scents because the Philadelphia Mint has a lot of varieties listed. So not only do I get to do that, but hopefully we get some older scents for the book. Now, for those of you new to the series or new to the channel, if you'd like to check out the playlist starting from box one, you can check that link out below in the video description as well as pinned up here. For those of you already caught up, we have hunted 100 boxes and we have slotted 191 out of the 234 possible scents in this book. Obviously, I'd love a lot of wheat scents, but hopefully we get something for the book most importantly. If we can't get anything for the book, hopefully we can get a variety or some nicer finds for upgrades. Now these two penny boxes were sent sealed because you could tell by the holes in the bottom that they were circulated scents. Unfortunately in transit, the top of this one got busted open, but this one's mostly still intact as well. But at the end of the day, I know they were sent sealed and it looks like we have a lot of copper in this box. Since this one's already almost open, I figure we'll go ahead and pop it live and see if we have any enders as well. And I don't see any weed scent enders at least Oh, no, we do have a wheat scent ender right there. I do see one. So we've got a wheat scent ender, and it looks pretty nice, probably in the 50s. So that gives me some optimism that we've got some good boxes here. Either way, you guys know the drill. We're going to save looking at the album until the end when we compare the finds. We're going to get right into the hunt. I'm going to start this 100-roll hunt with this first roll. And as always, should I encounter a find along the way, we'll bring it back in for a look. Let's get this penny hunt started, and hopefully... I see you soon. Roll number two, and it looks like I'll see you soon because we definitely already have our first wheat scent. This one's gonna be, and it's from the 30s to boot, but it's a 35 Philly, and I'm 99% sure we already have that one, but it's good to see a 30s wheat scent as our first find on the board. Roll number seven, almost an ender, only the second coin in, and take a look at this. It's another 30s scent, 1939. We already have it, but two finds so far in the box, both from the 30s. Same roll. Weed scent number three is going to be a 1952, and I think that might be an S. And it is. 1952 San Francisco. Roll number eight. Weed scent number four. This one is... A 1956 Philadelphia. Same roll. We have our first fake coin. Well, not fake. Media money. Four stars instead of a date. Unbelievable. Take a look at this. Don't see these too often. And listen. It weighs almost nothing because it's made out of plastic. Well, that's a miscellaneous find. We'll take it. Something for the board, I guess. Roll number nine. Weed scent number five. And this is a 1945 Philadelphia. Roll number 12, and we already have our sixth weed scent, and it was facing me. It's a 1948 Denver. Roll number 14, and we're keeping pace with the weed scent every other roll. This is number seven. And it's another 30s, but it's a 37 Philadelphia. And I expected to find a lot of Philadelphia minted weed scents when we find them. But hopefully we get a few with mint marks. Well, we're on roll 21, and that was the one that had the weed scent ender. It looks like it's newer by its condition. Let's take a look at it and see what year it is and if there's any more with it. That weed scent ender for weed scent number 8 is a 1950 Denver. Maybe it'll upgrade. Roll number 22. 
Weed scent number nine. It's a 1946 Philadelphia. And while I have you here, we have yet another Canadian. That's a 1977. And we've got five of those so far. Roll number 23 is going to give us our 10th wheat scent of the hunt. And we're not even halfway through the box. And that's a 1940 Philadelphia. Same roll. Weed scent number 11. And that's a 44D, so we'll quickly check it for that D over S, which I don't see, but nice seeing. 11th weed scent through 23 rolls. Still the same roll, and we have another fake penny. Copy on the back, copy on the front, 1996. Two fake pennies in the same box, and I don't think I've ever found more than one ever previously. Roll number 24, and we're back on the wheat scent every other roll because this is number 12. The 12th wheat scent is going to be a 1942 Philadelphia. Roll 25 marks the midpoint of the box, and we have two wheat scents in here. That's going to give us our 13th and our 14th of the hunt. The 13th wheat scent is a 1949 Philly, and the 14th wheat scent peeking out back here is a 1953 Philadelphia. Roll number 26, weed scent number 15. And that's a 1950 Philadelphia. Roll 27, the box is staying hot. We already have our 16th weed scent of the box and this one is another 1956 Philly. Roll 28, weed scent 17 is a 57 Denver. Roll number 29, weed scent number 18. Hopefully it's old, it's pretty corroded, but it's just a 45 Denver. Roll number 38, weed scent number 19. A 1950 Philadelphia. Roll 39 is gonna give us weed scent number 20 of the hunt. It looks pretty nice. It's a 1942. Maybe it's been cleaned at some point, but still looks pretty good. 1942, Philadelphia. Well, the last 10 rolls of that box were cold as ice. We didn't get another wheat set, I think, in the last 10 or 11 rolls. But I'm not going to argue because we did get 20 on the board. Now, there are 20 wheat cents on the board. Most of them are 40s and 50s. We did score three Philadelphia mid and 30s wheat cents, but I don't think we're going to need any for the collection just yet. But that's only one box, and it was a great box. I had a lot of fun finding these 20 wheat cents, as well as scoping for varieties, but we didn't find any varieties. We did find a couple of uh, tokens or play monies or fake pennies, whatever you want to call them, and I don't usually find those. I think I found one or two lifetimes, so to get two in the same box was definitely odd and kind of cool. We also got six Canadians. I expected to get some Canadians being in Pennsylvania, so it's always good to see those. 359s, four really nice copper cents, a 61P, 63D, 69D, and a 73P. And then, surprisingly, we actually had 169S, although not the DDO, of course. As far as copper went, just over half the cup is full, so probably 60% of the way there should fill it up after box two, I would imagine. Speaking of box two, let me move this out of the way, slide it over, and I'll bring you guys back on the first find in box number two. Roll 54 of the 100 roll hunt. We've got wheat scent 21. Obverse facing... 1946, Philadelphia. Roll number 57. Wheat scent number 22 is going to be a 1949, Philadelphia. Roll number 67, and we've made it to our 23rd wheat scent. Only the third of this box through 17 rolls, but we'll take it. 1945, Denver, again. We're on roll 75 of the 100 roll hunt, which is the 25th roll or halfway point of the second box. We've got our 24th wheat scent. Only the fourth of this box though, so a little bit lighter so far. And this one's another 1945, but this time from Philly. Just grabbed roll 83 out of the box and uh, flipped it around. We've got a wheat scent. That's going to be the 25th of the hunt. Let's see what year it is. Wheat scent 25. Is a 1952 Denver. 
Roll number 90, weed scent number 26. And that's a 47 with a mint mark. 47 Denver. We'll take it. Roll number 97. Almost done with the hunt. We will have our 27th weed scent, and it was our verse facing. 1955 P, so we'll just double check it for that 55 double die. There's also a poor man's doubled five on the second five, but I don't see it. Not going to be the 55 double die, but it is a 55 nonetheless, and we'll take it. Roll 98, weed scent number 28. Just a common 1944 Philly, but we'll add it to the board and see if we can get another one or two more. Well, that's going to wrap up that two box Pennsylvania box hunt. And you know what? The second box was light with only eight finds, but 28 for two boxes is a really good hunt overall. We did score three from the 30s, but I think we already have all three. We also grabbed a really nicely toned 1973. Probably going to hold on to it. I just like the way it looks and it's in pretty nice shape as well. Probably need to put that over here. We got eight Canadians. We got five 59s, five really nice red cents. Nothing really in the second box other than a toner and two 69 S's, one in both boxes, no DDOs. We managed to overflow the Copper Cup, which was expected after that first box having almost 60%, maybe a little bit more of the Copper Cup filled. So definitely fill that up. And I always like adding copper to the stack. However, I don't know if I'm going to add any cents to the album. Maybe an upgrade or two. I'll have to take a peek. But let me go ahead and compare the album to the finds, see if we have any additions or upgrades, and bring it back. Well, I've compared the finds to the album, and unexpectedly, we also didn't have any upgrades. There was a couple of close calls, but I just couldn't justify pulling out a scent to put one that's slightly better in the spot, potentially weakening the spot, and making the pennies not stay in the book. So at the end of the day now, we've done 102 boxes, and we have 191 finds still. We didn't make any progress, but we did find 28 wheat cents, and despite that number, it's still tough to find ones for the book. I took a quick peek. There's only five cents missing out of the book that are north of 50 million minted. All of the other ones are under 50 million minted and hard to find. Obviously, I'm not counting the steel cents. That would make two more, but we've only ever found a couple of them in circulation, so I'm not expecting to find those. Like I said in a previous hunt, I will be grabbing some customer rolls when I can. I'll be checking coin stars because those are still found through searching for coins, and if we find anything, we can add it to the book, and I have found my fair share of steel cents in coin stars. That being said, another episode Great number of wheat cents, nothing for the book. That's how it's going to be until we get some lucky boxes or some lucky scores. Hopefully, despite no additions to the album, you still enjoyed this penny hunt. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.